Good evening, everyone. Again, thank you for joining our prayer meeting. It is such a joy for me to see each and every one of you joining our prayer meeting today and just taking this time to worship God, to hear God's word, and also uh, most uh, importantly, to pray to our Lord even at this time. Uh, today, in our prayer meeting, we take the time to commune with God in prayer, uh, lifting to, to Him all of our cares, all of our concerns, and even our prayer focus for today. And today, before we just take this time uh, to pray to our Lord, let us talk about the Word of God for a while. So, here in our prayer meeting, uh, we've been going through the book of Psalms. And, and today, uh, ngayon naman po, ngayong gabi, ay we're gonna continue on with our uh, 13th, okay, pang labing tatlo po na Psalms. Uh, sa ating prayer meeting series. So we're going to read on Psalm 13. So if you have your Bibles with you, please uh, turn to Psalm chapter 13. Uh, if you have your mobile phones with uh, Bible apps, so you can do that as well. And can you please uh, do read with me in Psalm chapter 13. So basahin po natin. Sabi dito sa Psalm 13, How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I take counsel in my soul and have sorrow in my heart all the day? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and answer me, O Lord, my God. Light up my eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. Lest my enemy say, I have prevailed over him. Lest my foes rejoice because I am shaken. But I have trusted in your steadfast love. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me. Can we just take this time to pray for a while before we uh, dive, to the, dive in our word today? Lord, Heavenly Father, thank you once again because ngayong pong gabi ito ay mapag-aaralan na naman po namin ang isang uh, chapter in Psalms God. Lord, today as we look into this psalm, God, Lord, may uh, this word cause us to be ministered. Uh, cause um, may this word cause us to be ministered upon. Lord, may you point out certain areas sa buhay namin na kailangan namin ng ministry. Uh, Lord, we pray, God, that uh, as we study your word today, that you will point out certain issues, certain um, uh, certain areas in our life na kailangan namin marinig panginoon. Lord, today we are so excited to hear your word. Guide us, Lord, as we study your word. Help us to understand your more your, your word clearly, God, so that uh, we can, we will come out of this uh, prayer meeting. We will come out of this uh, uh, listening to this word, uh, being blessed, uh, learning new things as well. Lord, we ask for your Holy Spirit to guide us as we listen to your word today. Teach us a new thing, O oh God. Reveal yourselves to us, God, as we study your word. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, to um, start off, it's a very interesting passage that we read um, earlier. But I want to start this uh, uh, message by asking you this question. Sino sa yung dito, uh, naranasan mo ng maghintay? Yeah, di ba? For sure, madaming nakaka-relate, di ba? Kung nararasan mo na maghintay, you can comment on the comment box <laughs> so below. Uh, kwento mo na din. Oh, kahit hindi naman masyado, pero share mo na din ang konti kung bakit <laughs> pinaghintayan mo. Di ba? Sino sa'yo dito, naranasan mo na yung maghintay, okay? And a lot of us probably, uh, we have waited for something for so long, di ba? And uh, iba-ibang klase ng paghihintay yan, eh, di ba? Now, imagine uh, this with me, okay? Yung my question, yung, yung naranasan mo nang maghintay, hindi lang siya yung basta-bastang uh, paghihintay lang, okay? It's, ito yung tipo na kapag naghintay ka, yun yung matagal mong hinintay. Nakaka-relate ka ba doon? Meron sila dito naka, uh, sino sa inyo naka, naka, naghintay ka na ng sobrang tagal, di ba? Meron ka bang yung experience na gano'n na sobrang tagal, hindi mo, na, hindi mo in-expect na kaya mo palang maghintay ng gano'n katagal, di ba? May gano'n ka bang experience? And ito yung tipo na, imagine this with me, a, a kind of waiting that is so long, okay, tapos yung habang naghihintay ka pa, um, hindi ka masyadong, hindi mo masyad, masyadong gustong maghintay kasi in a sense, uh, nagmamadali ka din. Naranasan mo naman yun, yung naghihintay ka, tapos 
uh, ang hirap maghintay kasi nagmamadali ka. So, it's uh, making uh, waiting more, uh, alam mo yun, more gruesome. Parang mas ayaw, kum- ayaw natin maghintay kapag mga ganong uh, pagkakataon. Di ba? Uh, for example, I'm gonna give you some illustrations. Naranasan mo na ba yung nag, uh, pumila ka sa isang grocery? O kaya naman sa isang fast food? O kaya naman sa isang ATM? Di ba? May mag-withdraw ka, mag-transact uh, ka sa bank mo. Tapos, uh, multiple lanes. Okay? So, naghihintay ka sa pila tapos madaming lane. Okay? And for some reason, I know a lot of us can relate to this, for some reason, yung lane na pinipilahan mo, hindi gumagalaw. Nakaranas ka ba ng ganon? Uh, tapos, nakikita mo yung ibang lane sa gilid, ang bilis nilang, ano, uh, sila yung umaandar na lane. So, ang ginawa mo, Uh, in attempt mong lumipat dun sa kabilang lane kasi nakita mo mabilis nun. Tapos, ang nakainis, <laughs> pagkalipat mo dun sa lane na yon okay, bigla namang yun yung tumigil, tapos yung lane na pinanggalingan mo, yun naman yung bumilis. Di ba? Mas nakaka-bad trip, mas nakaka-inis yung ganong klaseng uh, waiting. Um, and and why, why am I asking this? Why are we talking about waiting? Because uh, that is kind of the nature or the essence of our word for today, of our text for today in Psalm 13. Because our Psalm for today shows that very struggle in waiting. But probably, okay, in a much deeper din, uh, degree than our illustrations earlier. Mas mabigat po yung waiting na ginagawa dito ni David, yung nagsulat po ng Psalm 13, uh, kaysa po dun sa mga in-explain, uh, in, in example ko kanina. Here in our text, uh, this is what we can learn. We can see how David called out to God in his waiting. So here, for our message today, we're going to look at David's, uh, uh, as David waited, we're going to look at David's problem, petition, and praise. Yeah. So we're going to look at David's problem, petition, and praise. Three things, three areas na titignan po natin dito sa text na to. Problem, petition, and praise. Una, we're gonna look at David's problem. Ano ba yung problema ni David dito sa psalm na to? Verses 1 and 2, it says here in Psalms 13, How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I take counsel in my soul and have sorrow in my heart all the day? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? You see, David's problem seemed like he was waiting on God and he was waiting for it for a seemingly long time already. Now, we don't know kung ano po yung hinihintay ni David dito kay Lord, pero it seemed like David was uh, waiting for it for a long time already. Now, of course, what David was saying here when he was saying, Lord, how long, how long, how long? It, uh, and he was saying, Lord, Nakalimutan mo na ba ako, Lord? Tinatago mo ba yung mukha mo sa akin? Now, of course, this, is, this isn't a truth statement. Uh, just like how uh, the past uh, Psalms na binasa natin, di ba? hindi naman si David dito nagsasabi ng isang truth statement. But, you know, David was just uh, saying what he was feeling. Ito yung nararamdaman niyo, Lord, parang ang tagal na. Di ba? Kasi makita natin dito sa verses 1 and 2, ano yung paulit-ulit na phrase is, uh, the phrase, how long? Diba? Paulit-ulit yung tinatanong yun kay Lord. Lord, how long will you forget me forever? Lord, how long will you hide your face from me? Lord, how long? Ganito, how long? Ganyan. Four times binanggit ko niya yan sa verses 1 and 2. They, that was David's problem. He was waiting. Diba? It's like he was saying to, 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 to God, Lord, gaano pa ba katagal tong din? Pinagdadaanan ko na ito. And I, I was just reminded of a story. Uh, well, not, not much of a story, pero a lot of us can relate to this, di ba? Uh, alalala ko, um, every time we go to my uh, wife's, uh, 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 kung saan po siya lumaki sa province po niya, uh, sa Cagayan pa po siya, naka, sa Cagayan pa po yung home province ng wife ko. So every time magta-travel po kami doon, at least at the minimum 12 hours po yung biyahe. <laughs> okay, and I, remember, I, I always uh, ask, my wife, or nung una, lalo na nung mga unang uh, uh, 
unang beses na pumunta kami, pupunt, nag-travel kami, papuntang ka kaya. Yung tanong, kaya na po ba katagal? Kaya na po ba kalayo yung biyahe? And uh, nakaka-relate naman tayo sa ganun. Di ba? I was also asking that question, how long? And maybe for some of us, even as we are reading the verses, we can somehow relate to what David was feeling already. Di ba? Kasi obvious na obvious. Di ba? With the situation that we are in, Maybe some of us are experiencing what some people are calling a quarantine fatigue. Or probably for some of us, it's a pandemic uh, fatigue. Diba? And this fatigue, pandemic fatigue, quarantine fatigue, this can hit even to those who are in a relatively good situation. Diba? Kahit na maganda yung sitwasyon mo ngayon, kahit na okay ka naman, because there is this ongoing pandemic, di ba parang, alam mo yun, nararamdaman mo ba yun? Yung parang minsan, Lord, hindi talaga mapalagay yung puso ko. Di ba parang minsan, Lord, ay, hindi ko makuha yung peace. Di ba? Again, those are valid emotions because we are in a season of pandemic. Di ba? And right now, parang napapagod na tayo. Di ba? Kahit na nasa magandang sitwasyon ka, parang it, it will hit you uh, one way or another. And sometimes we ask, Lord, how long will this last? Hanggang kailan ba ito? I want to ask you this question. Do you have something like this as well in your life? May pinagdadaanan ka bang parang ganito? Where you ask God, Lord, how long? Gaano pa ba, Lord, katagal ito? Maybe for some of you, maybe ikaw nanonood ka ngayon, it's not just in pandemic, but there is a certain area in your life where you are looking where you are waiting for so long maybe you're here you're waiting for a miracle to happen a miracle financially a miracle in your in your life uh, may ina expect kang offer may ina expect kang nangyari for some reason healing i don't know uh, iba, iba iba tayo maybe that's what you are waiting for and you feel like lord ang tagal na ang tagal ko nang pinagpe-pray ko oh yun na nga for example yun din di ba you're you're looking you're waiting for an answer to a prayer. Diba? Minsan nga hindi ka na nag-aabang ng ano, diba? Nung <laughs> yes na answer. Minsan pinag pray ko, parang Lord, ano ba? Diba? Ayoko na nung ano, maybe or or wait na sagot, Lord. Ano? Sabihin mo lang kung hindi. Nung may nagpe-pray ko. Have you ever been in that situation or are you in that kind of situation um, as well? Diba? Lord, how long? You're waiting for something. You're waiting for uh, your prince charming. You're waiting for a love life. You're waiting to have children. You're waiting for a financial freedom, whatever it is. Diba? Maybe you can relate. A lot of us can relate to what David was experiencing. And David said, how long? Uh, another thing, the sinabi na, na ni David dito, moving on, is how long must I take counsel in my soul and have sorrow in my heart all the day? Now, if napansin po natin yung first two how long na sinabi ni David, he was kind of just blurting it out to God, Lord, kailan ka bang magtatago, Lord? Ang kailan mo ba ako kakalimutan? Diba? It's like just telling him, telling God his emotions at yung nararamdaman mo. And now it's like, you know, David is now looking into his uh, self. It was like describing to the Lord, Lord, yung nararamdaman ko. David was describing to God the state of his soul. As he wait. Parang sinasabi niya, Lord, hanggang kailan to? Ganito yung soul ko. My heart is feeling sorrow all day. Naranasan mo na mo yun, yung buong maghapon, yung parang ang lungkot mo lang. Tapos hindi mo matanggal sa puso mo. Uh, maybe because of waiting for something to happen, ang lungkot mo lang. Uh, it was like, this is what David was saying. Lord, ang hirap na <laughs> naghihintay ako ang tagal na. Hanggang kailan ba ito? Kailan ba matatapos ito? You know, probably that, that's what David was feeling here. And when you ponder about this, um, thinking about waiting, I, I remember when I was in, um, when I was younger, uh, wala, po akong, wala pa po akong wife and was not yet married, I was always uh, pondering about uh, the waiting season of single uh, people. Tapos inaisip ko noon, um, sa totoo lang, yung mga single, <laughs> di ba? The reason why they dread to wait for uh, a partner, 
uh, a romantic partner to come or dumating sa buhay nila, kaya naman nila na dinedread yung waiting is because it's not because of the length, it's not because of the time uh, factor, pero it's kasi sa waiting may uncertainty. Sa waiting may insecurity. Sa waiting may anxiety. Tayo nararanasan. And I, I just realized this again when I was reading this text. We're like this. Di ba? Ganun ito yung nararamdaman natin every time we wait. Nararanasan mo naman yan, you're waiting for something, a result uh, of uh, of an exam, for example. Di ba? Uh, hindi mo alam kung, di ba, when you wait mo yung, yung bukas, uh, and alam mo yung bukas, dinedread mo na may nyari, and yung waiting time, it's, you know, parang un- uncomfortable. Maybe, David, that's what he's, he was feeling here. Lord, um, hindi ko na alam, di ba, kung ano yung nangyayari. Because the issue is not the time of waiting, but the uncertainty, the lack of security, and anxiety. I want to ask you this question. Can you relate with that? Diba? Another thing that David said here, how long shall my enemy be exalted over me? And maybe for some of us, siguro nakaka-relate tayo dito, baka meron kang enemy ngayon. Diba? Tapos parang nagsa sobrang waiting mo, parang Lord, nananalo na sila. O, tino, wala pa rin nangyayari. Ako, nandito ako, talo na. Diba? May, or, probably nakaka-relate ka din. May, or probably, baka naman hindi. Diba? Uh, they may, there may not be a specific enemy, but maybe we can relate to the fact that, you know, sometimes, alam mo yung parang sa kakahintay mo, uh, you, there's a lack of victory that is accomplished as you wait. The feeling of lingering defeat for a long while with no near victory in sight. Um, in, in this pandemic, ganun yung nararamdaman natin, Lord, parang... Nagpipray ako ah. Nagpipray naman kami. Lord, ang dami naman namin ginagawa. Pero parang, we are three months in, three, more than three months in here and it seems like parang lumalala pa, Lord, may victory ba dito? You know, it's what's it's very similar to what David was feeling and maybe a lot of us can relate. So what happened next? Number two, we're gonna look at David's petition. Verses three and four says this, consider and answer me. O Lord my God, light up my eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death, lest my enemies say I have prevailed over him, lest my foes rejoice because I am shaken. David's response was to call out to God. That instead of turning from God, he turned to him. You know, a lot of us, uh, naranasan mo na ba yun yung hindi ka na makapaghintay so ginawan mo na lang ng paraan. Hindi, mo na, hindi ka na makapaghintay na may mayayari, may gawin si Lord. You know, I've done that in my life. Lord, ayoko na maghintay pagdating sa miracle. Ako na gagawa ng diskarte para magkaroon ng miracle. Uh, hindi na ako makapaghintay sa love life. Maybe for some of us, ako na gagawa ng diskarte para magkaroon ako ng love life. Kahit na hindi godly. You know, a lot of us, uh, we turn from God. But what David did is this. David's response was to call out to God. And so much more in a time when it seems like nothing is happening. Even at the time when you feel like you have waited for forever, this is always the appropriate response to call out to God. Hey, Pastor, I've called out to God. Then call out again. Hey, Pastor, I've done that again. Then call out and call out and call out again. Kasi, you know, where do we go? <laughs> diba? Saan ba tayo pupunta? Kay Lord na lang din naman. Talaga. David called out to God so that he may not, and, and nakasulat po dito sa verse natin yon. una, so that he may not sleep the sleep of death. Diba? Yung parang, Lord, mamatay na ako sa nervyos. Parang ganun yata yung ano, sinasabi ni David dito. Because he knows that nasan ba yung peace ni David? Nasaan ba yung peace natin when we are waiting? Eh, nakay Lord lang din naman. So, I be, I, you know, alam mo yun? Maybe, you know, you're here, you're experiencing so many insecurities, anxieties because of waiting. Well, go back to the Word. Go back to God. You know, I understand some of us, we go to social media at times, YouTube, TikTok ka muna, scroll ka, Instagram. 
okay lang yon pang ano lang din uh, that can help but I hope ultimately you go to God you call out to God Lord ang tagal ko na naghihintay Lord I'm gonna pray this again Lord I'm gonna ask this again Lord I'm gonna talk to you again go back to the word always David's response was to call out to God may that be our response as well ano sabi niya dito so that the enemy will not When? Ano sabi niya dito? Lest my enemies say, I have prevailed over him, lest my foes rejoice, because I am shaken. Because David did not want to give up and be defeated. Diba? He knows that his destiny is victory. That is why he called to God in petition. You know, he, David can just turn away and say, Lord, <laughs> Basta mahala ko na. Hindi niya si ganun yung sinabi niya, Lord, uh, okay, ang tagal pa ata ito. Sige, bahala nga. That's not what he did. He went back to God and said, Lord, I'm not gonna let this enemy win. I'm gonna keep on calling out to you. I'm not just gonna sit here idly and not do anything. I wanna ask you this question. The things that you are waiting for, will you just stay and stand and just be passive about everything that is happening and, reg- and readily just face defeat? Nahirap kasi yung ganun, di ba? Parang nag-give up na tayo. Parang, eh, ito na eh. Marami lang nangyayari, hindi ko na maintindihan. Will we just face defeat or will we go back to God and say, Lord, I'm gonna call out to you. I'm not going down without a fight. And lastly, number three is this. Psalms 13 verse 5 and 6. This is David's last great response. I love this. Verse 5. But I have trusted in your steadfast love. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me. What did David do? David trusted in God's steadfast love. Ano sabi niya? My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. You know, David trusted in God's steadfast love. Alam niyo ba yung word na steadfast? It means, in other translations, it means unwavering, it means continuous, it means unfailing sa ibang translation. And David was saying, Lord, I'm gonna trust in that. David did not say, alam mo yun, okay na ang lahat. Manalo na. Oh, alam mo yun? Ano, hindi. Ang sabi niya, Lord, I'm gonna, this is where I'm gonna put my trust. Yes. Pansin niyo, ganun kasi yung waiting eh. Uncertainty, insecurity, hindi mo alam kung anong mayayari anytime. Hindi mo alam kung anong mayayari sa future. Kasi sa waiting time, parang dread, dread. Alam mo yun, dinadread natin. But David was saying, Lord, I'm gonna put my faith, I'm gonna put my trust in something that I am certain of. In something that will not give me anxiety, but rather give me peace. Something that will give me security and not, alam mo yun, uh, not give me an uh, insecurity. Sabi niya, Lord, I'm gonna put my trust in your steadfast love. Kasi yun yung sure. Kasi yun yung Sigurado, yun yung unfailing. Hindi pa ako fine-fail nito, itong steadfast love. Ko. I hope that as we wait in the Lord, we wait in His steadfast love. We put our trust in God's steadfast love. Not so much meditating on the uncertainties, on the we don't know what will happen. But in God's steadfast love. Sabi niya, my heart shall rejoice in your salvation. David rejoiced in his salvation. Are we rejoicing in our salvation? Yes, this is the situation. Yes, we're waiting. But are we thankful? Are we praising God? Lord, thank you for your salvation. Thank you for your gospel. David did that. And sabi niya, I will sing to the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me. What David did is David worship because God has been good to him. Yan po yung isang translation sa NIV. Diba? Because the Lord has been good to me. Yan yung sa ESV na, you know, God has dealt bountifully with me. And isn't that true? 
You know, sometimes when we wait, when we look forward to what will happen and we do not see something good or where we cannot see anything, and I mean, sometimes we tend to focus on those things and we feel like, Lord, parang kulang. Lord, parang magpe-fail. Lord, parang hindi yata kaya. Lord, parang hindi yata pwede. Lord, wala ata. <laughs> but David said, Lord, you have dealt bountifully with me. You have been good to me. I want to encourage you to do that. You know, just right now. I know we're thinking about waiting and probably na iisip po na yung mga bagay na uh, hinihintay mo. But why don't you just do that right now? Think back to the good things that God has done for you. Ang dami, di ba? Even in this pandemic season, there are so many good things that happen. Ang dami, di ba? Ang daming nangyayari, ang daming okay. Because that is, you know, the reality. That is the truth. God has dealt bountifully with us. In conclusion, I want to share this. When we feel like things are taking too long, we must call to Him and trust in His steadfast love. Why don't we we just take this time to pray as we end our word today. Lord, thank You. Thank You, God, that despite all of our waiting, God, Despite all of the uncertainty and anxiety and the insecurity that it gives us, the waiting season, Lord, we thank you, God, that we have the ability or we have even the opportunity to call out to your name, O oh God, as your sons and your daughters, God. Kaya namin gawin yan. And Lord, thank you because we can call out to you and it gives us peace and it gives us assurance, God. Lord, today, this is our declaration that we trust in your steadfast love. Thank you, Lord, because you have dealt bountifully uh, in our lives. You have been good to us. God, we claim that. Remind us always that you are always so good to us. This we pray, in Jesus' name. Amen. So that's it for our word today, church. Um, uh, let's uh, take this time to pray for our prayer points.